Welcome to another episode of Two Chairs, One Technology, a Roden Schwartz video blog on LT and LT Advance. My name is Andreas Rösler and I tag team another time with Raoul Sierra, Senior Application Engineer within Roden Schwartz. Welcome Raoul. Thank you Andreas. Today we want to talk actually about LT Advanced and um, specifically about one of the most demanded features out of the LT Advanced feature set that is carrier aggregation. So carrier aggregation seems to be the way out for network operators out of their spectrum fragmentation. That means they are able to aggregate and combine their spectrum allocations in the lower frequencies with spectrum that they may have in upper frequencies. So uh, we are going to use um, uh, Roden Schwartz test solution, signal analyzers and, and generator um, to uh, simulate that here to provide you with an overview of how you can analyze such a signal uh, that will come from a base station. So I'm using the SMU200A vector signal generator as a source here and uh, by going into the uh, equipment you can actually see we're generating uh, one LTE carrier at a frequency of 751 megahertz and a second carrier at a frequency of 2132 megahertz. By going into the uh, digital baseband option of just one of these carriers, picking the LTE option and going all the way down to the downing settings, you will see that I'm using the carrier aggregation functionality within the instruments and that the one carrier is actually generated in a path A because we want to upconvert it to 700 megahertz and I have to use the path B to upconvert it to that higher frequency of around 2 gigahertz. Both signals have 10 megahertz of bandwidth and I'm already switching them on. Uh, the output power is minus 10 dBm and we are feeding these signals now into the spectrum analysis. For the analysis part, I want to switch over to Raoul. For the analysis, we're using two spectrum analyzers, an FSV and an FSW. The reason that we're using two spectrum analyzers is that the digitizing bandwidth of the spectrum analyzer, in this case the FSW, which has got the highest, um, the widest bandwidth, it's only 160 megahertz. I say only because the separation in this case it's more than a gigahertz. Um, if those two carriers were uh, to fit inside the 160 megahertz of the FSW, then we can do the complete analysis of both carriers with just one instrument. Um, for this case, we feed the two RF signals into the two uh, uh, instruments and using a small automation program, we just send uh, two, three uh, lines of code that tell the FSW to acquire data through the RF input and its digital input. Its digital input, it's connected through um, the backplane it, uh, from the FSV. The FSV is taking RF data, converting it into that digital I and Q sample data into that same backplane so that the FSW can combine the acquired data from the two carriers and do its analysis. After the analysis is complete, we can look at the front panel of the FSW to uh, look at the demodulated data from both carriers. The master carrier and the slave carrier. With that, um, it's just a quick overview of how we can analyze carrier aggregation for release 10 of LTE. Thank you, Raul. As you can see, um, you already can use today your spectrum and signal analysis tools from Roland Schwartz to do carrier aggregation analysis um, of each individual carrier, um, no matter what the uh, uh, frequencies, the carrier frequencies are. Um, with that, I want to say thank you for watching Two Chairs, One Technology, a Roland Schwartz video blog on LT and LT Advanced.